All right, you guys, let's get started. This is workout A of our Spinnervals 101 DVD, and we're gonna work on your technique and work on building your aerobic base. In this session, we're gonna do a lot of technique stuff like one leg drill work, high cadence work, things that you need to develop as a cyclist. But before we get started, let me introduce the athletes in today's workout. Cherie Penulosa, single mother, Ironman finisher and paralegal, Rick Wilson, retired Navy, physical therapist student, Andrew Urian, personal trainer and Ironman triathlete, Karen Dubbs, creator of the Flexible Warrior Series, registered yoga teacher specializing in yoga for athletes, Alice Beckett Rumberger, mother of six, ages one through 18, physical therapist for 20 years, she's fit for life, and Sherry Brightridge, triathlon coach and business executive. Okay, now we're gonna get started. We're gonna do our warm up for a little while longer, and this is gonna be our steady state warm up, and then we're gonna get right into our interval warm up. But right now, I want you in your small chain ring on the front, and about your 15 or so on the back. If you're on a spinner bike or other stationary bike, put that tension on a one or a two on that scale from one, which is very easy, to five, which is very hard. Okay, so let's warm up for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna get into our interval workout. So start warming up, cadence around, I don't know, 80 to 90 RPMs. Just getting into it, getting the muscles loose, getting into the flow of things. Again. Get warmed up here. We've got a good aerobic workout, Just doing a lot of technique stuff. Build your skill on the bike. This won't be a super long workout. Okay, so now we're gonna get into our interval warm up, and as we do with all of our spinnervals workouts, we're gonna go three by 30 seconds on at 30 seconds rest. I want you in your big chain ring on the front, your 15 on the back. If you're using a spinner bike, bring that tension up to a three on that scale from one to five. Okay, so let's go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. Again, this is just to warm you up a little more before we get into our main set. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Warm it up, warm it up, warm it up. A good technique and aerobic conditioning workout today. Let's go, let's go. Warm it up. 15 seconds. Three, two, and one. Small chain ring and soft pedal. Take that spinner bike tension back down to a one or two. And just soft pedal easy. Let the heart rate come back down a little bit. And in this warm up, I want you to build through each 30 second rep. And I don't want you to hammer it, okay? This isn't the time to really get your workout in. This is time to warm up in preparation for your workout because you really do need to pace yourself in order to get the good workout done. And here we go, big chain ring on the front, 15 on the back, two, one, go. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Always thinking about good form, this is a time to think about good form during your warm up. But in this workout in particular, I want you thinking about good form at all times. Now remember, we have a separate DVD chapter where we talk about gear selection, intensity, and all kinds of other good stuff. Three, two, and one. Soft pedal. Okay. Nice and relaxed. Let the heart rate come down a little bit. Soft pedaling easy. And our third rep and final rep is coming up. Starting to break a sweat here. Small one. Five. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Warm up. Put new top one. Come on now. Warm it up. Let's go. Good form. Knees in your top tube. Upper body's nice and relaxed. Nice and 
still. Hands nice and loose. Nice job. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay. Small chain ring, soft pedal. Just relax for a couple minutes, and then we're going to get into our first set. Okay, you guys, give you a little bit more time to recover, and then we're going to get into our first set. Now, our first set is going to focus on your technique, all right? We're going to do some one-leg drill work, and we're going to do this for three minutes. So we're going to spend about 30 seconds on each leg, switching back from leg to leg. Now, this is an important drill to do because it develops your nervous system in terms of how it fires and how efficiently you pedal your bike. And at first, it's going to be very difficult. And something you should work on, not only during this workout, but on other workouts as well. One leg drill work is a great way to build your cycling technique. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to keep your left leg in, and you're going to click out with your right leg, OK? You're going to put your right leg behind you, and you're going to pedal only with your left leg. I want you to think about pedaling very smooth circles. Try to be as efficient as possible. Try to ankle through your pedal stroke. All right, and try to get your cadence up too. You're gonna be in your small chain ring on the front and your 15 on the back. Or if you're riding a stationary bike, a tension of about one or two. So a very low tension. Try to keep it very smooth. Try to get your cadence up. Keep your upper body nice and relaxed, okay? So 30 seconds on each leg. Listen for my cues and you'll know when to change legs. So let's click out with our right leg. You're gonna pedal with your left leg, probably using the same gearing you're in right now. Here we go in three, two, one, go. Good, okay. Good job. Left leg behind, the right leg behind you, pedaling with your left leg, keeping it nice and smooth, and you'll be surprised at how fast your heart rate goes up just using one leg. You'll also be surprised at how uncoordinated you might be at first, but how much easier it gets as you practice this particular drill. Three, two, and one. Switch it up. Right leg, and go. Come on, let's go, let's go. That's it, that's it. Keep it smooth. Big circles, keep it nice, smooth, and steady. Big circles, let's go. Very important technique drill that you should do, even as a warm-up for some of your harder workouts. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Ready, go. Now again, this workout today, we're working on technique, but also your aerobic conditioning, okay? In this particular workout. Keep it smooth, keep it steady. Try to get that cadence up. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Ready, go. Okay, let's go. What do you have to cadence up around 87 just with one leg? See that? Just think you could pedal, be pedaling around 160, 170 with two legs. 15 seconds, come on. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Left leg, one more time. Ready, go. Let's go, Andrew. Starting to sweat a little bit. Yep, just a little. War on ALS, the Blazeman Foundation representative. Okay, here we go, here we go. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Switch it up. And go. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it steady. Maintain your rhythm and stay focused. 
Try to get that cadence up a little bit higher. Try to work it a little bit harder, okay? Try to work it a little bit harder. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ten more seconds. Come on, come on. Five. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, click in both pedals, both legs. Soft pedal easy for about two minutes, and then we'll go into our next set. Okay, soft pedal nice and easy. Let that heart rate come back down. Heart rate variability, an important component of interval training. You want your heart rate to go up, come back down, go up, come back down, and ultimately you'll become a stronger and faster rider. And that's what we all want. Okay, so about a minute to go. All right, so let's talk about our next set. In our next set, we're going to go three by 30 seconds on at 30 seconds rest. This next set, we're going to work on your cadence and your, your pedaling speed, okay, your leg speed, as well as your pacing and your sense of leg speed and pacing. Because every 10 seconds, we're going to build on your cadence. So we're going to start off at around 90 to 100 RPMs. Then I want you to bump it up 10 to 20 RPMs, so then you'll be up maybe 100 to 120, and then another 10 seconds later, you're gonna bump it up again, 10 to 20 RPM. So some of you might be finishing the 30 second rep at a cadence of over 140 RPMs, if possible. And I've seen cyclists up over 180 RPMs for this drill. So it takes a while to build this technique, but it's really important that you do it, okay? So you need to work on the high cadence stuff, which then translates to you riding a bike faster and more efficiently on the road. So. Let's get started. Be in your small chain ring, 15 on the back, probably the same gearing you're in right now. If you're on a stationary bike or a spinner bike, put that tension on a one or a two. All right, so here we go. Start off kind of slow, 90 RPMs and better, and build as you go. Three, two, one, go. I'll tell you when to build your cadence. Here we go. Two, one, pick it up, pick it up. Come on, come on, come on. Two, one, go. Pick it up, come on, fast legs, fast legs, fast legs. Come on, see what you got. Nice job, good job, good job, good job. Three, two, and one. Nice work, nice work. One rep down, two more to go. Give you guys 30 seconds to recover. Soft pedal now, soft pedal. Let's see a really distinct difference in your cadence for each rep, okay? So you're going slow, medium, and fast, if that's how you want to put it. It's really never slow, but you're working it faster and faster, and you're up in five seconds. Okay, we're gonna look at your cadence meter and see where you go with this. Two, one, go. Okay, she's starting out at around 100 RPMs. She's already an overachiever. All right, here we go. We want you to end up at around 130. Two, one, go. Pick it up, pick it up. Okay, look at this, fast legs here, fast legs, and five seconds, she's at 110, 115. Okay, here we go, two, one, go. Come on, really fast legs. Come on, spin it, spin it, keep it smooth, 132. Come on, go, go, go. Come on, push, push, push. Drive it, drive it, 135, two, and one. Nice work, okay. Way to go, way to go. Good rep, okay. So we're doing this one more time, another 30 second rep coming up. Build that cadence. Let's see if you guys can get over 140. What do you think, Karen? See how the Flexible Warrior pedals the bike. And you're up in 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. In five, two, one, go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. See a difference in each 10 second range here. Three, 
two, one. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Keep the upper body nice and still, knees in your top two. Upper body's relaxed. Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on. High cadence, high cadence, high cadence. High cadence, high cadence. Don't bounce, don't bounce, don't bounce. Keep it smooth, don't bounce. Three, two, and one. Nice, nice job. What'd you get your cadence up to? 200, 250, 250 RPMs. That's really good, that is really good. Okay, very good job. Now I'm gonna give you about two minutes to rest again. I really wanna see that heart rate come back down. Full recovery, okay? There are other workouts where you can hammer it, build that threshold, have high heart rate the entire time. But for this workout, we're keeping it short and condensed. We're also focusing primarily on our aerobic energy system development as well as our technique development in this introductory workout. Again, there are other workouts where you can hammer it, build the strength, build the lactate threshold, build all those different components, but not this one, okay? All right, keep it steady. Soft pedal. Okay, you guys, don't forget to drink some fluids. I don't, don't want you getting dehydrated. If you have to, take in some calories. Remember now, the better hydrated you are, the higher quality your workout will be because you won't fade, all right? Especially when you get into longer workouts. But even for this workout, even though it's kind of short, you still want to be taking in your fluids pre-workout, during your workout, and post-workout. All right, very good so far. Now, for our next set, we're gonna go three one minute efforts, and in this set, we're gonna work on the skill set of standing up. Having a nice, smooth transition from being seated, to standing up, and then sitting down again without losing your rhythm, okay? That's a really important thing to develop as a cyclist because out on the roads, you'll always be doing that. You'll be seated, then you'll stand up to climb a hill, and then you'll sit back down. And when, especially if you're gonna race someday, you wanna make sure that that's a nice, efficient transfer, okay? So we're gonna work on that right now, and by doing that, we're gonna we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna go 10 seconds seated, 10 seconds standing, 10 seconds seated, and so on for the minute. Then you're gonna get a full minute to recover. Now your effort for each minute needs to be at around your race pace. You're gonna be working hard, what I call tempo. Not so hard that you can't sustain it though. Nice steady effort, one minute on, one minute off, three times. Okay? So we're gonna start seated. I want you in your big chain ring on the front, your 15 on the back. Big ring 15, if you're on a stationary bike or your spinner bike, put that tension on about a three on that scale from one to five. Good, solid effort here. And you're up in three, two, one, go. That's right, you can stay seated. Obviously, if you have knee problems, you're gonna stay seated. Ready, stand up. Good, smooth transition, good. That's it, that's it. Have a seat. Good. I want to see that transition done nice and smoothly. Smiles on your faces while you're doing it. Ready up. Come on now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Have a seat. Good job. Let's go, Rick. Good, man. Ready, stand up, right up. Nice job. Come on, keep it steady, keep it steady, keep it steady. Have a seat and soft pedal. Small chain ring and soft pedal. Full one minute recovery. Drink some fluids, relax a little bit. Let the heart rate come down. Drink a lot of fluids. One rep down, two more to go.
Okay, 15 seconds. Here we go. Big chain ring on the front. 15 on the back. Stationary bike tension on three. And you're up in five. Four, three, two, one, go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, see a good smooth transition. Ready, up. Stand up, come on, come on, run on those pedals, run on those pedals. That's it, weight shifted forward a little bit. Good, good, good. Nice and smooth. Nice job, and have a seat. Right back down those air bars. Perfect, good job, good job. Nice work. We have some real pros here. Ready, stand up. Come on, that's it, run on those pedals. And have a seat. Right back down your air bars, right down on your drops. If you're using a racing bike, down on those drops. That's it. Get low, get arrow. Got to practice being in that position. And stand up. Come on, go, 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 go. Three, two, and one. And soft pedal, soft pedal. Small chain ring, soft pedal. One more rep here, one more rep in this set. Make sure you drink some fluids. Keep yourself hydrated. Again, this is not the workout to hammer yourself. Believe me, there are plenty of workouts in the Spinnerables library where you can hammer yourself. This workout is a technique session, okay? Each workout in our DVD library offers something different, works on a different skill set, different component of cycling. And you're up in 15 seconds for this last rep. You ready to go? You sure? Okay, five seconds, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Good form, staying seated. Come on now, come on. Stay with me, don't lose your focus, don't lose your focus. Ready, stand up. Up, 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 up. Run on those pedals, run on those pedals. Run on those pedals. Make that bike go forward. And have a seat. Good, good, good. Puddle contest winner right here. No question about that. Stand up. Come on now, run on those pedals. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Karen. Come on, keep it smooth. Have a seat. Good, good, good. Our last rep coming up, our last standing rep. Make it your best transition. Pop up with authority, ready, up. Come on, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Come on, right up, right up, right up, right up. Come on, run those pedals fast, fast, fast. Three, two, and one. Good stuff. All righty. Just about two minutes recovery. Again, we're gonna get that heart rate coming back down. We work on our last set coming up, okay? Done a great job so far. Let's keep it going. Okay, guys, we have about a minute to go, so let me explain our last set. Now, this last set, we are going to start working a little bit higher heart rate. I want you to really focus on your effort, okay? In our last set, we're going to do something similar to what we did before, only we're going to build with, in terms of our gearing and not necessarily our cadence. So we're going to start off with your big chain ring and your 15 on the back first 10 seconds. By the way, we're doing three 30 second reps, or 30 seconds reps. First rep, big chain ring, 15 on the back. Trainer tension, if you have a spinning bike, that's gonna be on about a three. Every 10 seconds, I'm gonna have you shift down to a harder gear, all right? So the second 10 seconds, you're gonna go down to about your 
13 or so on the back, and then the last 10 seconds, you're going to be in about your 11 or 12 on the back, or a tension of 5 on that scale from 1 to 5. Really hard gear to turn. All right? Three times through this, and every time, I want you working hard throughout the entire 30 seconds. Let's start really getting that feeling of working hard. Get the body used to that accumulation of lactic acid because that's what ultimately will make you a stronger and faster rider, all right? So, we're gonna give you another 10 seconds. Right now, I want you to shift up into your big chain ring. You're 15 on the back. Let's do that right now. Crank that tension up a little bit on that spinning bike, and here you are. Let's work it hard. You're almost done. Get through this last set. Here we go in three, Two, one, go. I'll tell you when to shift every 10 seconds. Come on now. Here we go. Our last set, and I want you working hard. Two, one, shift. Go down to your 13. Pop it down again. Come on, man, one more. Give me one more. There you are. Come on, push it now. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. In three seconds, you're all the way down to your 12. Two, one, shift. All the way down to your 12. And push it hard. Give me 10 seconds of your hardest effort. Come on, push, push, push. Push, push, push. Three, two, and one. Soft pedal. Small chain ring and soft pedal. Okay, spinner bike people. I'm gonna spend some time up here to make sure you're keeping it honest. Are we ready? One rep down, two more to go. Are we ready, guys? See some enthusiasm on this. Five seconds, here we go, here we go. I'm fired up. Three, two, one, go. Come on, give me two more good reps. Come on, Karen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Make this count. Three, two, one, shift. Come on, down to your 13. Down to your 13, now you're suffering just a little bit. Come on, crank it up, crank it up, crank it up, crank it up, crank it up. Ready, go. Crank it up all the way. Crank it up all the way. Come on, push, 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 push. Give me five more seconds. That's it. Look at this guy. Look at him. Ready? Three, two, and one. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Nice effort for everybody. Excellent. A little bit of suffering going on. That's when you get strong. Beautiful. 15 seconds. You know what? You're done. You can cool down after this 15 seconds. Last 30 second rep. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. This is it. This is it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Three, two, one. Crank it up, man. Come on. Push yourself. That's it. Get that power output up right now. 350 watts. 400 watts. Three, two, one, go. Come on, push, push, push. Come on, push, push. Come on, give me five more seconds. That's all you got. Come on, push. Drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it. Three, two, and one. Ah. Awesome job. You guys go hard on that last one? Good job. Way to go. Small chain ring on the front. Small chain ring on the front. Don't hit the coach and start cooling down. Great job. John, how's that last rep Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. How's that last rep Good, you do that. Yep, see some good puddles on the floor now. Sherry doesn't have any puddle on the floor. Maybe a drop.
Okay, great workout. That was a really good technique session. Towards the end there, we kind of mixed it up and made it a little bit harder. And that's what spinner training is all about. Interval work that makes you a better rider. Until we train together next time, train safe, train smart. Excellent, excellent. There you go, Flexible Warrior. There you go, Cher. Good job. There you go. We hope that you enjoyed your workout with Spinnervals 101. For more information about the entire Spinnervals library and Coach Troy Jacobson, visit spinnervals.com or coachtroy.com today.